Hi, it's Chester Tuckwell at Blue Peak and Computer Training. In this video, we're going to look at how to group dates in the Power Pivot application. Now, uh, you may realize how useful it is in, within a Power Pivot to be able to group dates. And that's really easy within a normal Power Pivot. But as soon as you start using the data model, you'll realize that that functionality has been removed. But we can get around it a little bit within the actual Power Pivot application, what we're going to do is create two calculated columns, one to describe year and one to describe month for each of these sales rows. Um, you may be a little bit worried about the way in which dates are formatted within the Power Pivot add-in. You can change that pretty easily if I just click somewhere within the date field and go up here to my formatting group and just choose a more convenient date format. So how am I going to show the year for each of these dates? Well, let's name my calculated column. Let's call it year. And actually, you can use a DAX function that's exactly the same as the normal Excel function. It's called year. And all I have to do is say equals year. You can see where I'm typing up here on my uh, formula bar, open bracket, and then I just select the column that I'm interrogating, press enter, and there we are, it's returned the year for each of those dates. So that's pretty easy. Now month is a little bit more involved, but not too much. Um, over in normal Excel, you may have used something called the text function, which we would use to look at a date uh, and return uh, a value such as the month or the day or something like that. So we could use the equivalent function within Power Pivot add-in called format. So if I say equal format, what I can do is point at the value, which would be the date column, comma, and then the format I want for that, well, I want to extract the month, so I'm going to put in quotation marks three M's and then close the bracket. And that will return the month. If I scroll down, you can see it's returned the month in each of those columns. So that's an interesting DAX function. Its equivalent is text within the Excel, uh, normal Excel environment. And you'll find that some, not many, but some of these functions do exactly the same thing, but they've just been renamed within this app, uh, within this add-in. So, okay, I've got the year and the month. How do I actually use that information to group the records within a pivot table? Well, let's go and create a pivot table. I'll put it on a new worksheet. And I've got sales here, and there we are. Look, I've got those two calculations I did there. So we can put year and we can put month. Ah, let's put it into the value. So I'm just going to drag it back into rows. I'm going to drag months into rows. Now, the first thing you'll notice, quite annoyingly, is that the months are in alphabetical order rather than calendar order. So a little bit of work to do. Now what I would do is first of all, change the layout from compact layout. So I'll go to my design tab, report layout. At the moment it's in compact form. I'm gonna change it to outline form and that then gives me two distinct columns. Right, I'm gonna to go to this column and I want to be able to sort in calendar order. So what I do is I go to more sort options I want to sort A to Z by month. I go to more options. And then what I want to do is untick auto sort and choose my first key sort order from the inbuilt list, the abbreviated form of the month. So I click on OK, click on OK, and there we are. It's sorted those dates for me. So now, I can very easily just go in and maybe I want to know the number of selling days in each of those months. So I put my values down to there and there we are. It's done the calculation per year, per month. Okay, that's all I want to show you in this video, how to group dates 
with then the power pivot added. Very, very easy in normal power and normal pivot tables, but a little bit more work involved when you're using the power pivot add-in. It's Chester Tuggle at Blue Pecan Computer Training. Hopefully that's been helpful.